The second type of important organic reaction is an addition reaction. Now, the substitution reactions occur with the single bonded and the benzene rings. And here, models can illustrate the collision principle really well. Take a look at these carbons in here. They're kind of buried, aren't they, uh, by their hydrogens which surround them. So in all likelihood, theoretically with collision theory, what's going to happen is say chlorine, Cl2, comes along. It doesn't necessarily have the percentage uh, uh, probability of colliding with a carbon and disturbing that so much as it does with a hydrogen. And when it does, it can substitute and the reaction can take place. That's why substitution is the most likely reaction to occur with single bonded types of molecules and benzenes too. But then when you have a double bond, there is a likelihood that instead of hitting and substituting with an outer hydrogen, which still can happen, you're going to get a collision with the carbons here that are bonded. That then will open up perhaps a double bond to a single and allow two substitutions to take place or just to add both of your diatomic species on or whatever you have that you could add on two of and you're going to be able to then have uh, an addition reaction. So, when you write an addition reaction, when you, when you, when you flesh it out on paper, here is, what's that again? One, two, three, that's prop with a double bond, that's ene, that's propene. Propene reacting with fluorine. What's going to happen? You're going to pop open the double bond and you're going to put both of the fluorines on so you're going to end up with a three carbon chain. And just be careful, the double bond is here, so it's between these two here that you are going to have the fluorines. Don't put them on the same one or something like that. Now how do you name that? That's going to be, well, that's a propane with a fluoro at the 1 and a fluoro at the 2. So it's going to be 1, 2, difluoropropane. Right. Then you look at this one and you say, okay, well, there's a triple bond. Now what do I do? Well, if you can have a really successful collision with that, you can actually take that triple bond and bust it down into a single. Now, it'll go into a double first, then you could probably get into a single. It's a stepwise reaction. There would be elementary steps here. But, in the end, one, two, and then three, four to put on. Four. We only have two chlorines here. We have four now. <laughs> and so, what we do is, we bust that down to a single, and we go, there's your propane that came from this, which was propene. And then we put chlorines to here and to here. And what do we get? We get 1, 1, 2, 2, right? 1, 1, 2, 2 tetrachloropropane. Whew! Addition reactions.